Tablets article deals with the damaged and incomplete old Babylonian tablet Plimpton 322 which contains four columns and 15 rows of a cuneiform mathematical text. It has been shown that the presumed original table with its seven columns and 39 rows represented, a table of square roots of numbers from 0 to 2 for mathematicians, and earliest rudiments of a trigonometric table for builders and surveyors where angles are not measured as an arc in a unit circle but as a side of a unit right angle triangle, a list of the 39 exercises on reciprocal pairs, unit and integer side right triangles, rectangles, factorization and square numbers for teachers. The article provides new arguments in favor of old disputes, squares of diagonals or widths, mistakes in previous analysis of errors in P322. Contradictory ideas about P322 are discussed, is it the table of triangle sides or factorization terms? Is it compiled by a parallel or independent factorization of the sides or of their squares? Are sides of an initial unit triangle enlarged or reduced by such a factorization? Does it contain two or four arithmetical errors? Time and dimensional requirements for calculation and writing of the complete tablet have been also estimated. The cuneiform clay tablet Plimpton 322, P322, is very likely the most famous mathematical product of old Babylonian era, 1900 to 1600 BCE, written probably in an ancient city Lhasa, southern Iraq, several decades before the city was conquered, 1762 BCE by Hammurabi of Babylon. Opinions on the tablet have been gradually changing. After its illegal excavation, it was sold in 1923 for $10. Old Babylonians had no signs for zero or floating point, a boundary between the integer and fractional part of a sexagesimal number. The lack makes any interpretation of a written number to some extent an arbitrary one and leads easily to errors. For clarity, we write sexagesimal numerals from 0 to 59 as two-place decimal numerals and denote a floating point as a semicolon 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 semicolon. Multiplication of sexagesimal numbers is laborious as multiplication tables up to 100, 100, are beyond the common memory. Division is even more challenging. This is the reason why the old Babylonians instead of dividing by the number, i.g., x multiplied by its inverse, e.g. by, 1x. They learned by heart the standard table of reciprocal pairs. The table is readable in both directions, example, the pair x equals 3 and 1x equals 20 corresponds to the pair x equals 30 and 1x equals 2, and vice versa. It enables to extend the table easily by double-digit numbers, since, example, the pair x equals 50. 1x equals 112 corresponds to the inverted pair x equals 112, 1x equals 50. The ancient mathematicians also knew relations between reciprocal pairs x, y and sides s, d, h of right triangles, rectangles, used by then builders and surveyors. Babylonians preferred rectangles with two sides and diagonal, but for simplicity, we will talk about triangles with three sides. As it follows from the diagonal d, solliptum in Akkadian, the width s, sag in Sumerian, and the length h, us in Sumerian, of a rectangle, or a right triangle obey the following relations. d2s2 equals h2, 1. d2s2 equals xy equals, d plus s, ds. 2. The diagonal rule, 1, enables to calculate one side of the right angle triangle. 1000 years before the birth of Pythagoras, it would seem ridiculous to call the rule Pythagorean geometric relations between the sides s, h, d of a right-angled, blue, triangle obtained by means of the square, s plus h, 2 with the sides, s plus h, or by the difference of squares d to s2. The specific relations can be briefly, though anachronistic, expressed by modern algebraic relations, s plus h, 2 equals d2 plus 4, 1 half sh, equals h2 plus s2 plus 4, 1 half sh and therefore d2 equals h2 plus s2, s2 equals d2 h2, d2 s2 equals h2, d2 s2 equals xy equals, d plus s, ds, while x equals d plus s, y equals ds or d equals, x plus y, 2, s equals, xy, 2. According to the relations, 1, and, 2, in case of a unit right triangle with the length h equals 1, the sides, x equals d plus s, y equals ds, 3, of a rectangle with the unit area, xy equals h2 equals 12, 4, represent a reciprocal pair x, 
y equals 1x determined by the diagonal d and the width s of the unit triangle. Inversely, as it follows from 3, the sides. d equals x plus y, 2, s equals x, y, 2, h equals 1, 5. Of a unit triangle could be determined by a reciprocal pair x, y. 7. Set of relations, 4, 5 can be written in a form of modern quadratic equations x22 dx plus 1 is equal to 0 or x22 sx1 is equal to 0, 6. For an unknown number x and known values of the diagonal d or the width s. Of course, old Babylonians solved the quadratic equations, 6, for an unknown reciprocal pair x, y in a different way as we would do. At first, knowing the diagonal d, they calculated its square d2. Gradually, using the diagonal rule, 1, the square of width s2 equals d2 12 and then its square root, i.e., the unknown width s equals square root d2 1, were calculated. Eventually, using relations, 3, for already known pair of sides d, s, they calculated the searched reciprocal pair. x equals d plus s equals d plus d2 1, y equals d s equals d d2 1. In another type of equation, 6, with the known width s, by a similar procedure and relations, 1, and, 3, they obtained the reciprocal pair x equals square root s2 plus 1 plus s, y equals square root s2 plus 1 s. To obtain these solutions, it was necessary to calculate squares d2 or s2 and then values of the square roots s equals square root d2 12 or d equals square root 12 plus s2, probably, using a suitable table. Since in this case the roots represented sides s, d of a unit triangle then such a table of square roots could be obtained by the relations, 5, from a set of reasonable chosen pairs of reciprocals x, y. It was natural to use at first the simple, well-known reciprocal pairs x, y from the standard table, calculation of sides s equals, x, y, 2, d equals, x plus y, 2, h equals 1 of unit triangles and their squares s2 or d2 equals 1 plus s2 preliminary table does not represent any known cuneiform tablet. In spite of this, all its data, except of those yellow-colored, can be found in the old Babylonian tablets MS 3502, MS 3971, the second to seventh row, and partly in the P322, the eighth and ninth row. Green numbers or letters substitute the missing original numbers or letters in damaged parts of the corresponding clay tablets. In Sumerian Akkadian mixture, for the parameters X, Y, S, D, use the same words as tablets MS 30, 3502, MS 3971. The rest of headings is in agreement with P322. Squares of the width S2 or the diagonal D2 equals 1 plus S2 and have been calculated in several ways. Either generating reciprocal pair X, Y as S2 equals X, Y, 2, 2 equals X2 plus Y2. For one half, D2 equals X plus Y. 2 2 equals x2 plus y2 for plus 1 2. A direct multiplication s2 equals ss or d2 equals dd of simple two digit widths s 0, 11, 1, 20, or diagonals d 1, 0, 1, 1, 40. In simple cases, also the old Babylonian special table of squares, IM96183, combined multiplication table, would have been used. By a parallel factorization of multi-digit sides s, d, h of unit triangle, a multi-digit number can be decomposed into a product of smaller, ideally single-digit numbers. Then a multiplication by such a number can be performed as a succession of simple steps. The decomposition of n-digit sexagesimal fractional number s equals 0, s1 s2, sn1 sn can utilize that the last digit sn equals fn gn 60 n can be written as a product of the greatest divisor gn and a factor fn multiplying the number s equals 0, s1 s2, sn1 sn equals 0, s1 s2, sn1 plus fn gn 60 n. By the reciprocal of the greatest divisor hn equals 1 0 0, gn causes that the last fraction disappears. It changes to fn 60 n1. In this way, the resulting number, SHN reduces to N1 fractional digits, thus repeating the multiplication. By the reciprocals HN1, H1 of the last greatest divisors GN1, G1, the final, least, factor, factor. S equals SHN times 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 H1 equals SHS, 8. 
will be obtained where the multiplier HS and its reciprocal 1 HS are determined by their relations. HS equals HN times 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 H1 equals 1 GN times 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 1 G1 1 0 0 N and 1 HS equals GN times 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 G1 1 1 0 0 N 9. As GN HN equals 1 0 0, the reciprocals GN HN are single digit sexagesimals. Then according to 8 and 9, the inequality S greater than or equal to S is satisfied for the absolute value of the final factor S and the original number S. Paradoxically, for their relative values, the opposite expression is valid. Evidently, in accord with 9, S equals SHS less than or equal to 0, S1, SN, 1, 0, 0, N equals S1, SN. 10. Friedberg calls the factorization method the trailing part algorithm and the final factor s, the factor reduced core. This factorization method, the n digit number s can be reduced to the final factor, 8s equals shs and inversely, it can be decomposed to the product, s equals s, 1hs. The factorization can simplify calculation of squares of many digit numbers s. s2 equals ss equals s2, 1hs, 1hs. 11. Inversely, by factorization of a square S2 to the reduced factor S2 equals S2, HSHS. Supposing that its square root S is known, the square root S equals S, 1 HS, of the number S2 can be calculated. It should be mentioned that old Babylonian scribe had calculated with numbers in their relative form without the floating point therefore he had to keep the factors, 1 0 0, n or, 1 0 0, n from relations, 9, more precisely, an idea of the absolute value of the calculated numbers, in his mind. It could easily lead to errors. In technical praxis, old Babylonians had to deal with both small and large objects. It is illustrated by their length unit system, inherited after Sumers. This system of different units assisted them in removing ambiguity of the relative form of inscription of sexagesimal numbers, without a boundary between their integer and fractional part. Although calculations were done with relative numbers, old Babylonians were always interested in the absolute value of results. It mattered whether a purchased field had a width 130 ninda, 540 m, or 1, 30 ninda, equals 18 k us equals 9 m. The factorization formula, 11, can be used independently for a calculation of squares of width s2 equals ss equals s2, 1 hs, 1 hs and also diagonal D2 equals DD equals D2, 1 HD, 1 HD, where the multipliers HS, HD are products of reciprocals from the greatest divisors of the last digits determined independently for the side S and D, respectively. However, only the common greatest divisors of the last digits of the both sides S and D have been used. Therefore, the multipliers HS equals HD equals H have the same value and the final factors S equals SH, D equals DH, H equals HH and can be interpreted as tiger sides of triangles which are similar to the original unit triangles S, D, H equals 1, 1. This parallel factorization of sides S and D has an advantage against an independent factorization of the sides, the result is simpler, only one multiplier H against 2 HS, HD. It can accelerate calculations, performed by one scribe, and save a space in a table of final results. A similar space-saving effect has a replacement of the trivial side H equals 1 of a unit triangle by the integer side H of a similar triangle. Simplicity, only the squares D2 are shown as the squares 2 equals D2 minus 1 differ from D2 only by the initial number 1. Moreover, the square D2 is always unambiguous but not S2 as it can be seen in the second row of where D2 equals 1, 0, 0, 15, 0, 0, 56, 15. 5 for then S2 equals 0, 0, 0, 15, 0, 0, 56, 15. Relative values of these parameters 1, 0, 0, 15, 0, 0, 56, 15 and 15, 0, 0, 56, 15, used by ancient scribes illustrate that the initial digit 1 in D2 does show where the missing floating point should be placed but the missing beginning zeros in S2 make its absolute value uncertain. The statement is justified by new high-quality pictures of P322 published also in her online article, 11. A picture has definitely solved a long-lasting dispute on the S2 or D2. In the 12th row with D2 equals 1, 29, 21.